In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome arm swipe transition, and that's right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films, and in today's video, we're talking all about this really awesome arm swipe transition. And this transition is actually really easy. So when it comes to filming the arm swipe transition, the only thing that you need to do is at the end of your first shot, you need to run up towards the camera, and swipe your arm across the lens. Now, it's super important that you don't get too close to the camera lens, but you also want to make sure that your arm covers the entire screen. So let's say this is the video. If your arm is just this size and you swipe here, it's not gonna work. You need your arm to swipe across the whole frame in order for this transition to work. So you want to do your action, and at the end of the first shot, you want to run up to the camera and swipe your arm across the camera. Now, it doesn't really matter what you add into the second shot because the transition comes from the first shot. So once you've got the shot of you swiping your arm across the camera lens, we need to drop this into Adobe Premiere Pro to begin the editing process. So let's get right into that right now. So inside of Premiere Pro, we should have two video clips. We should have the arm swipe transition and we should have the shot that we're transitioning into. So they should be in that order. So we've got our first shot, arm swipe, Second shot can be anything you like. So, we're going to start by pulling video one, that is the first video, up onto video layer two. So, as you can see, my arm is at the left of the screen, so this is where we're going to start cutting out the video. So, we're going to go into fit, we're going to zoom to 50%, this way we can create the mask just outside of the monitor, and we'll select the pen tool in opacity. Now, we're just going to draw a quick mask around the outside of the arm, and then we'll create a brand new keyframe on Mask Path. Now, if this makes it easier for you, hold Option on your keyboard and pull down Video Layer 2 onto Video Layer 1, and on Video Layer 1, delete Mask 1. Now, on Video Layer 2, whenever we move the mask, we're not trying to animate the mask against a black background. We can see where the hand is going to be at all times. So, make sure there is a new keyframe created. The keyframe should look like this, and the stopwatch should be blue. If it is, feel free to carry on. If it's not, then make sure you press the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. So all you have to do is press that. Right, we need to move forward in time, so we'll move a few keyframes to the right, and we'll just update the position of that mask. So the right side of that mask should follow the movement of the arm. So just pull this all the way over, and then we'll go over another few keyframes. So we've just wiped it off screen, so now the mask needs to follow the arm. So just to animate that off the screen. Cool, now we'll go back to the very first keyframe and we'll go back one keyframe to the left. In fact, now we'll go two keyframes to the left and we're just gonna pull the position of this mask to off screen. Now, if we go back to the very beginning and we play this footage back, we should see the mask transition happening. But the problem is we're transitioning the wrong way. We're starting with no video and as the arm is coming in, we're bringing in the video. So in order to fix this, we just need to press the inverted box on mask one. And if we play this back from the very beginning, we've got this really cool transition out. Of course, though, the edges are a bit hard. If we go into this a little bit, you can see we've got this really rough, jagged edge. So if you want to get rid of that, all you need to do is pull up the mask feather to a higher number of around 100%. Now, when we play this back, that is much, much better. So in order to transition to another clip, you want another clip to sit on video layer one underneath video layer two at the point where you first see black video. So if I scroll through frame by frame, you can see there is black video just on the left here. Let's go back one keyframe, there is black video there. Go back another keyframe, there is no black video. So we'll go one keyframe to the right where we first see that black video come through and we'll pull the freeze frame over to the very left. Now we'll change our view back to fit from 50%, and if we play this back, we've got this really awesome arm swipe transition. And there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, then please do not forget to subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.